All right, guys, I thought I'd put together another video. As you saw in a couple of videos ago in my Ludum Dare video, I told you about uh, a little motocross accident. So I broke uh, a bunch of bones in my, my ribs and my collarbones. I'm still waiting to heal up a little bit. Uh, I've got an operation scheduled for Monday, so in two days or day after tomorrow. And uh, I'm getting the collarbone straightened out a little bit. It was supposed to be done a few uh, last week, but uh, they cancelled it. We pay a lot of taxes in Sweden, but apparently not enough because they couldn't get a surgeon or a room for me. So I spent the whole, my whole birthday, in fact, I spent in hospital, just laying there waiting, no information or anything like that. Finally, after 12 hours, they said, you have to go home now. We can't operate on you. So hopefully uh, everything will be sorted out. Uh, so meanwhile, I've been home, uh, off work, being ill at the moment, but uh, it hasn't stopped me from playing around with uh, Unity and I've made another platform prototype. I know I shouldn't be doing platformers. I keep going back to them, but I've never released a game like that, so maybe one day I'll do it. And I'll show you some footage of what I've been up to. It's basically a mech or a robot that runs around on a platform and you can jump around and uh, run and walk and aim and uh, shoot different type of weapons. So I modeled some shotguns, some rifles and pistols. And I've got a shield and sword for some reason. Don't know, doesn't make any sense. Uh, but my favorite gun is the minigun and also a rocket launcher that you can fire off some rockets that it'll explode. And I've gone full all, all in with the low poly style. I really like that style and I'm gonna try to perfect it as much as I can. So I'm uh, doing everything in low poly and uh, everything from the, basically the, what you call it, the muzzle flame, the flash, and uh, all the smoke effects, the clouds in the backgrounds, the waterfalls that you see, everything is just mesh particles in Unity and I use a simple icosphere for all the meshes. I've got a slight pro uh, post-processing effect on as well, so you can see the fire flame from the muzzle and things like that has a nice uh, uh, flame, uh, like, an aura, like an aura around them, I guess you could call it, or it's bloom effect. And then I've also got some depth of field on the background camera. And I've got uh, pretty much everything recorded as footage, so not just time-lapse, but I've recorded everything from modeling the character and a lot of the detailed animations from all the running and different weapon aiming and swaps and things like that. Some dance moves even. <laughs> so I've got uh, pretty much all of that recorded in Blender 2.8 video footage. And I've also got modeling of the sci-fi size skyscrapers and uh, some of the background art that you see, the hills, for example. And uh, I've got everything running in Unity. I could go through how I've created the sky haze, for example, or the cloud particle effects, or uh, the aiming systems, or the ragdoll effects and things like that. I use uh, one third party asset for that called uh, Puppet Master and also uh, Final IK. It's a really great asset that has uh, some really nifty stuff with the ragdoll transitioning and things like that, and the aiming system. So. Please uh, feel free to give me uh, some comments in the comments field below and I'll be happy to show you maybe put together some videos from different sections of creating this platformer or um, yeah, just give me a shout and I'll be happy to, uh, to create some additional content for you guys. So meanwhile, I hope, uh, hope I get this sorted out and uh, thumbs up, everything will be back in a few weeks and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon again. Thanks a lot, bye.